Well, if it's all probability, then the most probable state is the equilibrium state. And the probability is determined by the number of microstates. The probability of some macroscopic state is just determined by the number of microstates that give you that macroscopic state. <coughs> that number of microstates that give you some macroscopic state we call omega. <coughs> um, the macroscopic state is determined by energy, volume, and number of particles. So just briefly, what is omega, the number of microstates? If you have n particles, omega is part of what determines the number of microstates is how many ways there are of arranging n particles in a space in a volume V. How many ways are there of putting the particles? It can be here, 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 and there, or they can be somewhere else in that volume, or they can be somewhere else in that volume. So the number of ways of arranging particles in a volume, but there's a total fixed energy and so it also depends on the number of ways of distributing the energy amongst the particles. Two of the particles can have all the energy and the rest none. All the particles can share the energy equally. There's all sorts of ways of arranging the energy sharing. We've already done that one actually. Equipartition tells you what the most likely thing is. That, in fact, that's our statement. The most likely thing is that the particles share energy equally. That the energy is equally partitioned amongst all the modes. So that's really a statistical statement. Equipartition is a statistical result. <coughs> um, Entropy tells us about equilibrium because omega, the number of microstates, tell us about equilibrium. The number of microstates tells us what's most likely, and so it tells us something about equilibrium, and so entropy also tells us something about equilibrium. Entropy is just a constant times the natural log of the number of microstates. I wrote this down, so, so I'm going to leave that right there for right now. Um, you can prove that the way you change the entropy is by adding heat, heat divided by temperature is actually the en entropy change. For processes that are called reversible. So probably I ought to tell you a little something about reversible. Um, <coughs> if I push down on this really slowly <coughs> Then I add energy to the gas. If I do it slowly enough, the gas, if I add energy to the gas, it would start to heat up. But if I do this slowly enough, it'll be in contact with the air, so it'll cool back down again. So if I do this really slowly, the gas will stay at a constant temperature. Gas stays at the constant temperature, or the room, temperature is approximately constant. When I raise this back up again, everything just reverses. Energy comes back out as work. Energy goes back in as, as heat. And the whole process is reversible. Things that are not reversible, anything with friction. First of all, if this, this really does have friction. But I'm going to pretend it's a friction-free piston. Anything with any process work with done with friction is not reversible. You probably already know that. If there's a lot of friction here, when I push down on it and I let go, it'll just stick there. So clearly, doesn't nat doesn't just reverse itself. <coughs> Other processes that are irreversible, you kind of notice. What if the room on the energy of the gas on this side was really low, so it was cold. Energy in the gas on this side is high, so it's hot. Eventually, not going to take very long, the energy will be equally spread out. And it's not going to go back. 
So that would be an irreversible process. One where the gas, where the energy here uh, ends up spread out over both sides and it's not going to go backwards. Anything that you see go one way and it looks really strange if it goes the other way, probably an irreversible process. <coughs> If the process is irreversible, then the entropy change is bigger than Q over T. Well, I wanted to ask you these last couple of questions. <laughs> so I think I'm going to ask this one first and give you about a minute. <laughs> Back here again, same three steps. Ideal gas is kept in a container showed by the piston. Suppose Q from 1 to 2 is 0. Friction free piston. For process 1 to 2, the entropy S A increases, B decreases, C stays the same. 